my name is LaserJet and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. And today we are by the sandy beaches and the beautiful blue sea of the wonderful land of Cornwall. Yeah, we're back at Cornwall because Cornwall's lovely. Well, who does not like Cornwall? And in today's video, I'm showing you guys another custom uh, livery that I made myself in the livery designer in Train Sim World. Because in my last video, I made some custom liveries using the uh, the HST Class 43. But this time, I've used a Class 801 and I've turned it into the beautiful Great Western Green livery. Just a reminder, yes, I did make this, however, I did cheat a little bit because, uh, unfortunately, I did not make the Great Western Railway logo completely from scratch, so I had to actually mod the uh, livery design. I actually, I actually had to download some logos and added them into Train Sim World to actually get the Great Western Railway logo, so is that slightly cheating? Yeah, mate, I, th I think it is, but, like, you know, there's no way I was going to make the Great Western Railway logo, uh, you know, completely from scratch, because, um, I don't have the right font for it. Hence why I had to download some logo mods. But apart from that tiny little cheat, I think it has worked out quite well. I mean, the choice of green I've chosen for this, uh, for this train, it looks amazing. We've got a nice, uh, HST to do, like, a little comparison, and we've got a class 166, uh, on the other platform. God, there's, so, there's so many people in the way, although they have come to, uh... Uh, see my beautiful paintwork, my beautiful uh, craftsmanship. They, they, I think all these people are impressed of how well this livery looks. So I've even got the uh, Great Western Railway on the side, and I've even added the uh, Great Western Railway logo on the side of the coaches. I think, you know, it's not perfect, but I, th I think I did a good job. However, there are a few little mistakes, because if you actually look inside, uh, the interior is actually in the uh, LNER colours. <laughs> That's a bit of a mistake. But, you know, you can't change the interior of a train in Train Sim World. That's, like, impossible. I mean, I am a bit worried that the green might be a little bit too bright, but I, I don't think so. I, 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 th I think it's the right choice of green. Although, you guys can decide if it's too bright or if it's, like, you know, or if it's too dark. I mean, I, I think it's a little bit too much on the... On the uh, on the bright side, but I, I think it's a, it's a good choice of green. But do you know what I'm thinking now? Yeah, I think we should go for a test drive. But before we do, if you haven't already, why not click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification as well so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. Right then, let's play some Train Sim World 4 and give the Class 800 in the GWR livery a test drive. Yeah! <laughs> Righto, so the first thing we need to do is step on board in the driver's seat. So in, enter the driver's door, then sit down. Lovely. Now, first things first, uh, because there's no overhead wires or third rail, uh, because the Class 800 is a hybrid, which means it can be electric or a diesel. Uh, yes, this thing is a diesel as well, but we need to switch it into diesel mode. So master key in and we'll put it in forward position. Brakes are on. Good. We want the brakes on. Headlights, we want them on full. Uh, what next? Uh, yes, we need to now switch to diesel mode. Now, in order to do that, I think, um, if I, if, if I remember, we have to press this button that says diesel, and then it will glow up yellow, and then it says engine start, and to do that, I think we have to press Z. There we go. I think now our, en our diesel engine might be on. I don't know if you can hear it very well, but uh, our diesel generator seems to be on and working well, so that's good. And now we need to set our path. So clicking on our train, let's set a path. Uh, ooh, where should we go? I think we should go... Ooh, up here will do nicely. We don't want to go too far. Uh, 5.1 miles. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a journey in a bit, isn't it? Right, I think we are ready to go. So do a toot of the horn. And then we want to release our brakes. And throttle up to notch three. See if that does anything. Oh, we're powering up. Oh, and we're moving. And I think by the sounds of it, by the sound effects. 
Yeah, I think we are using our diesel generator, but it sounds like we're using our electric motors as well, but I don't know how because our pentagraph, pentagraph, pa pantograph, sorry, our pantographs are not up. Um, but no, you can definitely hear the, uh, the, the diesel generator. So if I like maybe turn the game volume up just a little bit, and if I throttle up just a smidge, yeah, we, we, we are definitely in, uh, in diesel mode. That's good. I was, I was, I was a bit worried that, um, that, that this wouldn't work in diesel mode, but no, it does. So we can change it from electric mode to diesel mode. That's great. I was a bit nervous at first that it, it might not work. Um, but no, uh, things are looking good. Uh, we've got a green signal and speed limit has changed. So we can like maybe throttle up to max a bit. Let's give it the max revs, although it may, it's making our engine go crazy. So I think notch three. There you go. Listen to that diesel. It is quite weird how this is a diesel and electric because I don't see any exhaust pipes or anything. I mean, wait, like I don't see any of its bits and pieces of of any signs that is the diesel. There's no exhaust pipes. There's no nothing. But no matter, we're a class 800 by the beach in Cornwall in the Great Western livery. Yeah! I, I, again, like the fact that I uh, made this livery myself, uh, except for the logo, of course, that's a mod. Um, I, I, I am gen genuinely pleased about how this livery has turned out. Like, again, I'm not, I'm not the best at, like, you know, making stuff in Train Simulator. But, like, you know, I think this, this livery... I, I, I'm genuinely pleased of how this has turned out. I, th I think it looks good. I mean, the, again, the choice of green. I'm worried it might be a bit too bright, but I think... Um, actually, no, I, th I think it's all right. I mean, I've got the front yellow bit spot on. I'm really, I'm really pleased about that. But I'm, I'm struggling to fault this. I, I, I'm really pleased of how this has turned out. I, th I think it looks absolutely lovely. And also, I would like to say that um, I have looked in the uh, Creators Club where people have made their own Great Western livery out of the Class 801. But the thing is, like, they either use the wrong sort of green or um, the quality isn't that good or it just looks completely bizarre or the logo doesn't look right. It is very hard to get, well, to make a livery in Train Simulator, or, or sorry, or Train Sim World, sorry. Um, it's very hard to make the perfect livery in the uh, in the livery designer. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm starting to make my own. So, I mean, I'll, I'll let you guys decide of what you guys think. Do you think, um, do you think this is a good livery? Or you just look at it and just go, there, it's rubbish, Oliver. You don't know what you're doing. But, no, I, I like it. I want to get, like, a, a nice pass-by shot, actually, from, from, from a distance. So let's do a two of the, uh, of the horn. Oh, that looks good. That has a good sounding horn as well. I want to do like a, another like pass by shot, like 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 a track side shot. Oh, I like that plan. Do a track side shot. <laughs> it looks good. It sounds good. I'm a happy man today. That is. Oh, that looks. That looks absolutely lovely, doesn't it? Especially from the distance. You guys have to remember, I'm not a train expert. I'm just an idiot that likes trains. I'm, I'm not an expert whatsoever. I just I just like trains. That's it. Um, so I'm going to try and stop very carefully because I don't want to pass that red signal. So I think we'll stop about here, I think. Yeah, I think this, this will do nicely. Objective complete. Hooray! And now we can open our doors. Be -do, be -do, be -do. Doors opening. Don't know if anyone's getting off. Oh, dear, well, that's a lovely view, though, isn't it? The sun is shining. Oh, this is that 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 is nice. That 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 looks beautiful. I, I mean, oh, I'm loving this. I want to get like a station view of it setting off. So I'll release my brakes and then put it into notch. Two or three, I think that'll do. There we go. We have got green signal. Yes, we do. Good. So do another two of the horn. I love that horn so much. But no, the diesel generator is definitely going. You can definitely hear the the, the, the diesel motor going. Um, how many coaches am I pulling again? I forgot. I'm pulling one, two, three. Oh, it's 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 a five car unit though. N yeah, yeah, unit. No, hold on. Five car consist. Yeah, because the passenger sits in the actual unit as well. 
But you know what? I'm actually going to change the weather because it's getting colder. We're in November. So if we change it to... Um, What's this? Is this that's the month? So we'll change it to the 11th. And what's the date today? It is the 16th. And if we change it, there we go. It's starting to get all darker now. So uh, we'll change the time to about one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, let's have a little bit of cloud and change the uh, wetness. And maybe have a little bit of snow. I have to might make it a little bit more cloudier, like so. There we go. Perfect. Um, good. Uh, if you guys wonder what this is, this is just another mod. Uh, this does not come with the game. This is a, uh, uh, a thing called God Mode, where I get to change the weather while I'm on the move. It's very, very clever. It's, I'm getting a lot of mods for Train Sim World. I can't help modding this game. It just makes things um, a lot easier to like handle, because it's like much better to change the weather while you're in the game. Uh, rather than going back to the main menu and just changing the weather all over again. So it's nice that I get to change the weather while I'm while I'm loading into a route. Uh, let's give us a little bit of ground snow. Because, you know, it's winter time, guys. Let's make it a bit more Christmassy. You know I mean, we're in November now. So, you're like, you know, people are, are starting to do some Christmas shopping and starting to plan their Christmas. Let's make it all Christmassy. Why not? And we'll have winter trees. There we go. That's better. Wind. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't know what that does. Let's put that on maximum. Again, I don't know what that does. Uh, fog. Oh, let's add a bit of fog. Let's have about 0.5%. Oh, God. Now I can't see a thing. Oh, no. Um, let's lower the fog. Lower the fog. I can't see. I can't see a thing. If we have a 0.01%, maybe. See, that might well. Actually, maybe we can lower it. Maybe 0.05%. That's better. Um, temperature. We'll have that at minus... Uh, minus, ooh, maybe minus, let's think, minus 12, that's, that's very cold, I think. But again, right now, I am so in the Christmas spirit right now, I'm in a, I'm in a very Christmassy mood. What more can I do? All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, very Christmassy right now. I can't help myself. Uh, I'm in November and I'm already starting singing Christmas songs. Oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. Although this Christmas might be a bit weird this year because um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I lost my nan this year and uh, my nan was basically the queen of Christmas. Like, you know, she loved all the songs, the decorations, the lights, the shopping, everything. My nan was like the ultimate Christmas queen. And this will be my very first Christmas without my nan, God rest her soul. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... I mean, I love Christmas. I'm not, like, nothing will stop me from loving Christmas. But, however, it's going to be a very weird Christmas this year. Because, um, because I'm not going to be able to see my, uh, uh, my nana. Which is real big shame. Anyway, uh, I think we've reached the end of the line. So, I'll apply my brakes just a little bit. Um, hopefully my diesel generator is not frozen up yet. Because, you know, it is very cold out there. Although, am I even going to fit in this station? Oh, please let me fit in this station. Like, if, if I don't fit, I will be a bit disappointed. So, um, maybe apply my brakes a little bit more. There we go. About 41% of braking. I'm going to go in first person, actually, so I can actually see where the, uh, the end of the line is. There we go. So, I think about there. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit more. Ooh. I think stop right there, I think. How much space have I got? Um, I've got a little bit of space left, but am I in the station? Yes, I am. Yes, yes. And then we'll put my train in uh, neutral. And then uh, we can have the wipers off, actually. There we go. Uh, speed wiper off. Fantastic. We did it, guys. Yes. Let's open our doors. Doors opening. Passengers are coming on. No. Oh, look at all these people. Oh, you're, you're definitely going to freeze, bud. But there we go. Uh, I'm going to just step out of my uh, of my train. Oh, <laughs> a bit of a glitch. But no, there you go. Um, I have successfully made a Great Western livery of the class 801. And uh, we have successfully driven from one point of the station to another station without any incidents. And the fact that, you know, I didn't have any trouble getting here, 
that's a success. But I'm going to end this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.